So my name is Latina. Yes, you can see my topic is not very technical. It's got nothing related to the actual theme. But uh, the reason why I decided to pick this topic was uh, actually I came on this topic. Uh, the inspiration for this topic came immediately uh, about my first visit to uh, Jordan F. SG because uh, I see a lot of like tech, tech snakes, you know, all the snakes and all that stuff. Like, sorry, we get my talk. So, all this bending down your neck, all your spine, yeah, it's, it's quite detrimental to your health. And I'll show you why later. And uh, because the main reason is um, I want to bring more awareness and more attention to, I feel like it's important, especially most of us developers, we are doing a very like, desk intensive job, right? So, I really would like to bring awareness and attention to all this. So that we are more aware of as how our sitting posture, how our diet and all that affects the the way we you know and and really if you if you if you start working on your health right, you will find yourself um it will benefit you and in the long run right it will also help you be a more effective people, uh which I will cover. So a bit more about myself. I'm a full stack web developer and I've been working for about three years now. I mainly uh, code in uh, PHP and JavaScript. And uh, just a little technical stuff, so you know, it's not complete, yeah, just no hack. Uh, recently at my workplace, I've been, I've been building an API uh, consisting of serverless, GraphQL, and AppSync. AppSync is a bit like uh, uh, it's a AWS equivalent of Apollo. And uh, currently, right now, this week, I've recently been learning uh, Cloud CMS. And uh, personally, I've, um, because at my workplace, right, at the moment, I'm doing a lot more backend work. So I feel like to keep myself well rounded, keep my skills sharp, I, I'm currently working on a personal SaaS framework uh, just to up my uh, front, front end skills also. So, especially this topic. Yeah, this used to be me about like two, two years ago. So, yeah, I used to be 91 kg when I was like in 2017, and now I'm like 70, 70 plus kg. Yeah. Last time, uh, last time in uh, 2017, right, I was so overweight, right, that even walking a few steps like a chore. And uh, yeah, now, now I found seven floors to my kitchen flat. Not, not every day, uh, but. Um, Maybe about once or twice a week, uh, yeah. And uh, the main, so the main reason for me was uh, maybe frustration because um, back then, right, I thought like you know, hey, I'll, I've always been overweight, and uh, but then in 2017, I thought, hey, you know, I'm like 27, 20, 26, 27, right? At that age, I should be like energetic, you know, walking around, right? But I feel like a, like an old woman, you know, like I'm 20 plus, but I feel like I'm walking like 50 or 60 plus. So, yeah, I feel like, hey, it's not good for my health also. And also, well, you think about it, right? Because I'm so so overweight, right? It also affects my knees as well, and it's not very good for my knees. And at that moment, I was also uh, starting to feel like aches in my knees as well. And also another thing, here's what I mean by posture as well, right? When you first look at my photo, right? You just see oh, overweight, right? But there's actually another issue Right, the photo. You see how I'm standing, like I'm standing with my body, like even my my body's like going sideways like that, right? That's actually bad posture. It, it's not that I'm actually standing that way. It's when I actually stand, right? My my body really wants to go that that way. So yeah, that was something. There's also another thing I want to bring up as too. Like I wasn't really aware of this until I started on my journey on getting healthier, and then through that journey, right, I. So I have to be more conscious and more aware of it as well. So yeah, as I mentioned, techniques. Also another another reason is I'm also actually very uh, I got another interest in science. Like I love to figure out and answer. Like I mean, one of my, my the subject I always get in school was uh, biology. Uh, so I always read, 
very interested in science, especially microbiology and all that. You know, if I if I if if I hadn't ended up in IT as my career, maybe I would have ended up in like science or like a researcher or that kind of thing. Yeah. So as I say, also through sharing my experience or what I've done, I hope to help you also like help demystify some of the stuff, especially now things we hear, you know, you hear a lot of like conflicting uh, information and stuff. Like last time we were, we were told, oh, they have like good and bad cholesterol. I know you heard recently that society has good and bad cholesterol. Last time they say it was bad, now they say it is good, you know, that kind of thing. So I just want to help like help this demystify all this like uh, stuff for you guys. And also as a fellow developer to them, develop fellow developer to a fellow developer, right? How there are certain steps you also can take to not you don't always have, always have to like, drastic changes. You even like be a slow, gradual change. As soon as you're making a small deliberate change, right, to improving your your lifestyle to be healthy healthier. So some criteria that I for myself, right, that uh, no pills. I I just have this thing against like having. I'm like very against having pills and all that. I'm the kind of person that yes, I may go to doctor just for MC, but uh, if I have, if I can tahan the discomfort, I'd rather not take the um, take the pills and all that medication. Like if you ask me, if I have cough, right, I'd rather take like the pipa gal than the cough syrup because yeah, you know. That cough syrup, right? It 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 is not supposed to help you cure your cough. A cough is a symptom. A cough is uh, an indication that there's some irritant in your body, and your body's trying to uh, inject it out, right? To inject that irritation because it's not good for your body. So cough mixture, right, dampens that that sensation of the cough. So it's actually working against your body. Whereas I see things like um, strep cells and all, it's just it's not. It doesn't. Uh, it's just a relief, so it makes your it feel makes your throat feel less irritating, but it doesn't uh, dampen the cough, so to speak. Yeah, just like you know when you have fever, it is actually a good indication because it means that your body is fighting the virus or the bacteria in your body. So, first and foremost, first of all, I'm not a health expert. Okay. <laughs> So like I said before, uh, I'm just sharing my experiences and my journey with you all and also sharing all the like various research I have found as well this journey. So very first thing, most important thing of all is posture. Like how important is our posture? I see this is the first point I start on, right? So I say posture is very important. Uh, we think oh it's just about seeing and all that, no, but, but later I'll show you how important the posture is to even even when it comes to nutrition and diet, right? I'll say that posture is even more important than say your nutrition and your diet because if you don't get this right, right, you'll find it harder to exercise properly to you know feel healthier. Because you know, I mean okay, as us developers, right, we all have our pet gadget that we take care of, like our laptop or a computer and all that right but has it ever occurred to you that um, you know that your body itself is a kind of machine right yep. so what's the difference the only difference is that the computer is made of inorganic material your body is made of organic material but you know, just like the computer has circuitry right and there's electricity running circuitry right your body has its nervous system the nervous system is how your how signals transfer between your your head and the rest of your body, and the highway for those signals is your spinal cord, your back. So imagine your spinal cord is a highway. Basically, all your nerves, right, that goes to every part of your body, comes from starts with your head and goes to your body and vice versa. So if you have a crooked spine, you don't have that natural curve that you see here. You basically having a crooked a crooked uh, Fine. So it's kind of like, let's say if I give the equivalent of a road, right? When you have a straight road, it's very, it's very, you can drive at full speed when you have a straight road. But when, when the curve, when the road is a really slightly curved or bent, right? It's not, you can't drive through that road as fast. So likewise, when you have a bad, when your posture is 
is uh, infrared your height, your weight, right? Um, it, so a lot of times when you think, oh, when you're old, right? You feel like, oh, maybe you're a bit, it's some parts of your body don't move as smoothly, right? It's mainly due to a posture problem. A lot of times that we attribute, oh, when you feel like certain parts of your body is not as smooth, right? You attribute it to old age, right? It's actually mainly um, due to a posture, posture issue. Uh. So, how? So, your, the, main, the, the main point of posture or how to get proper is always maintain that natural curve, right? So, when you're standing, see, uh, I have a natural curve, right? When you stand, right, you want to aim to keep your back as straight as possible. When you sit, ah, uh, this is a bit. When you sit, right, you also want to make sure that your back is straight, right? This is why, uh, I don't know if you hear like some trends in some working places, especially in the West, right? Why some people prefer to work while standing up so that you can keep your, you maintain your back as straight as possible when you're working. When you keep your back straight, you're, you're basically keeping the highway of your nerves straight. When you keep your, the highway of your nerves straight, then your body's working as effective as, as most effective as it, as it can yeah so again I say go back to keeping that natural curve right it's also the same thing when you're sleeping when you sleep right you also want to make sure that imagine like you're standing but you have a board against your back so then that's how you sleep so you, you want to maintain this same uh, posture when you sleep so when you're, when you're on your side right when you see on your side when you sleep right you want to make sure that the bed the bed and the pillow that you use right supports your 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 neck and your your hips probably so that yeah so so some of the recommendations that um you guys can have that in your workplace that and um help keep your posture is uh, one of the things that i use at work are uh, like props like stands for me for me what i do is at my workplace uh, i use our uh, iMac so I actually have a box that pops up the Mac. Basically, so you want to keep your your posture as straight as possible, right? So I want to make sure I don't have a very good prop, but imagine this is my phone, right? So when I stand straight, imagine still I'm I'm looking straight, right? I'm standing straight, right? So you want to make sure you always keep this straight posture. So let's say imagine my phone is my computer, no matter how this is my phone, my computer, no is it's always at my eye level. I'm not like looking like that, like that. I'm looking straight. Yeah. So you want to keep that. So then they say, oh, but they say you can't really, like, I can't really see for myself. Then you can ask a colleague to help you out. That, like when you, when you sit down in your chair or you stand, you can ask a colleague to help you see whether you're, you're, you're really keeping your back straight. Up. Okay. And another thing that I use at work is, uh, what the wobble cushion. This wobble cushion, uh, you can get it at Decathlon for about twenty dollars. I got it at uh, the NTUC hub at Chukun, uh, I think. Yeah. So uh, why why a wobble cushion is good is because you know when you sit on a chair, right? You're basically sitting on a so on a solid like platform. But wobble cushion, right? As neighbors, and also if you if you go to the gym, you probably recognize. This uh, what this gym equipment uh. When you when you sit on it, right, you're actually sitting on something unstable, so it helps keep your your hip in bed. Your hip be so uh, it it helps keep your posture. It also helps keep your the muscles on your lower back right uh, flexible as well. Uh. Because even though you don't feel it, right, you're actually moving like slightly, ever so slightly. So it it does. Help. And uh, well, I, I'm not I'm not a business person here, but if a lot of these things find like, very hard to take in, I don't know much and all that stuff, then I would recommend that uh, you can go to seek out a, <laughs> a, a, a chiropractic uh, if, if you are really interested in like t- uh, taking care of your back, your posture. And uh, they're actually the best person to advise you on how to take care of your back. Uh. Just like when you go to a physio, a physiotherapist is more yeah, caters more on the muscles, so chiropractic caters more on the spine and your back. 
and which also includes your neck as well. And uh, from what I've gathered so far from me researching online, okay, the bare minimum is they must at least have uh, a, degree, a degree from uh, Palmer College of uh, Chiropractic. That's the very bare minimum. Uh. And uh, most of them have like, uh, standard training, like standard practice. Uh. So, yeah. So, uh, in terms of chiropractic, I've actually been to three clinics before. The first one is uh, uh, the one she moved already, so but I don't really care. The, the third one, the second one that I went to is the one at, uh, I think, Fai's Plaza. Fai's Plaza, I can't remember. The one next to Hyatt, Hyatt Hotel. Yeah, so, uh, and then the current one that I, work to, I go to is the one that's at my, at my workplace, at Fai Lima Square. So, next, uh, nutrition, which is basically uh, your diet, exercise, and sleep. So, uh, the what? So, um, I think the most important, okay, so the most important part of your nutrition, uh, be, before I go into food, nutrition, and all that, right, actually the most important part of your diet is actually water. If you guys have not been drinking water, you know, it, it's actually involved in almost any part of your body process. In fact, if you also want to see yourself lose weight, drink more water. Not just because water makes you, uh, like, you know, feel fuller, therefore you lose weight and all that, right? But water is also involved in all your body processes, including things like metabolism and all that, right? Like, if you want to burn food faster, you want to slim down faster, talking about uh, keto diet, metabolism, right? Basically, the metabolism uses water, la. so we drink a lot of water, plenty of water. For, for ladies, it's at least 2 to 3 liters per day, per day and uh, for guys, it's about 3 to 4 liters. Uh, yeah, calories. Okay. Uh, I think yeah, we all know this. Uh, huh? This one is like all can be fine online, can find out. So I go for. So, so. The key I want to bring about um, is to maybe help you understand a bit more the scientific part of it on, um, let's say, uh, some of the main sources of uh, food that you always hear online. You hear about carbs, fat, protein, well, all this stuff and all that, right? So, um, basically, I, I think, okay, of all the three categories here, the one that I understand the most is carbohydrates. Huh? And then you always hear, like, oh, of course, carbohydrates are. Uh, you know, if you eat a lot of carbs, right, then it, it makes you fat, right, like, like, like how, like why? Because in fact, in your body, what I'm trying to explain here is mainly more your body processes and how and what actually happens in your, in your body when you eat, when you all eat this kind of food now. So actually behind the scenes, right, every time you eat carbohydrates like uh, starch and sugars, right, oh, this, they are mainly, they are your main source of, so okay. In terms of category, right, your body will choose uh, carbohydrates first, then uh, fat, then then protein. Because carbs is the easiest to metabolize, followed by fats and then by protein. So then what happens is that actually why why they say carbohydrates make you fat, right? Because excess carbohydrates that are not being used up by the body, right, actually gets stored in your body. Your body will actually convert it into something called we call glycogen, which is actually a uh, an animal kind of fat, so it, it, basically your body will convert excess uh, carb, carbs that you eat right into fat. Uh. So that's why you know why eating a lot of like sugary, sweety foods right will, will make you fat uh, because internally right it gets converted into fat for our use. Let's do the oops. Okay. Then next is uh, fats. So again. Remember, like, this is science, I don't, I don't get uh, more too technical, but I get too technical, but bear in mind that even when you say food like sugars, carbs, right, they actually spend a broad range of uh, chemical compounds as well, you know, you have different kinds of uh, sugars like, I don't get too detail, but you have things like glucose, which is your, which is, Mainly when we talk about sugar, when you hear people, when you hear online about sugar, they mainly they are mainly talking about glucose or sucrose. Uh. Then you have other kinds of sugars like maltose and all that. Which, yeah, there are a lot, of, a lot of stuff. Uh. 
And then uh, fats, right? We just think of fats as like fats in uh, other oil or like fats in meat, right? But it's also fats in like uh, in nuts and in nuts as well, lah. So uh, in terms of in terms of um, importance of let's say if you're aiming to losing weight, right? Uh, I would say like you prioritize protein and fats over uh, carbohydrates. And actually, the even more important key thing, right, is less about what type of food you eat and more like try and reduce uh, processed food like junk food, like chips and stuff like that, you know, the like junk food, uh, processed food or overly processed food. Because most of the times, right, the most dangerous, most dangerous uh, substances come from processed foods. Are the ones, not say dangerous in that it's poisonous, but dangerous in that. It, make, it gets you overweight very fast, right? Uh, overly processed foods, uh, so you want to eat like as natural foods as possible, like you know, instead of eating a bag of chips, right? You can eat like uh, fruits and vegetables and stuff. Actually, honestly speaking, you're asking, um, uh, let's say between a bag of chips and even say like nuggets from like fried nuggets from old chunky, right? Yes, both are processed foods and are unhealthy, but between chicken nuggets and say like a bag of like potato chips like lace chips right I'd say chicken nuggets is slightly better for you because yes because you see a potato chips is just pure carbs uh, so it takes very fast for your body to digest the carbs whereas uh, chicken nuggets right is fat and protein so it takes longer for your body to process that but also eat, eat, eat fried food sparingly lah okay so and then uh, <laughs> so you have diet plan right and why is it that oh we try to diet plan it doesn't work it work the main the general thing I, I, I get from diet plans right is I think uh, this is my own personal take I feel like diet plans are meant to be short term uh. they're not supposed to be done you can make it as a lifestyle but honestly um I think I, the way I see diet plans is it's more like maybe you do it for a few months and then you see whether it works or not and then if it works then you keep it with if it doesn't work then you change diet plan and all that uh. for me right now uh, actually <laughs> I think there was once uh, in 2017 when I was I still I was still having a gym trainer right he put me I think on the most weirdest weirdest diet ever you think like keto diet all that sounds weird right you know what diet he put me on it's called the papaya diet so it's like Papaya, three three sticks of papaya, morning, morning, breakfast, lunch and dinner, three sticks of papaya for five days a week. He let me off on he let me off on, on uh, Saturday, Sunday, uh, but Monday to Friday papaya all the way. <laughs> I'm like after it was it was very effective. I got to put my house it was really effective because after that I lost a lot of weight. But was it sustainable? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, nah, you ask me if I go back to that diet again, nah, not really. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, as you, oops, as you notice, um, like, detox, ketosis, oh, detox, okay, busy, I'm okay. busy. Detox, let me just simplify it for you. It's just water, you put it, fruits, you take, you take water, you put fruits inside, that's a detox water. Okay, like, it's all fancy term. Let's just put this. You take you take cup water, you take your, your jar of water, right, and you put like fruits inside, right? So what's the benefit of that? The benefit is that when you put fruits in the water, right, it's basically you're basically getting the nutrients of the fruits without having to eat the fruits themselves. They, themselves are so it's a good alternative, let's say I don't really eat fruits a lot or I find it very hard to remind myself to eat fruits. Then a good alternative is to just uh, you have if you have a bottle of water, just put some fruits inside like put apple, strawberries, whatever and that could be, that's your detox water essentially yeah. yeah so yeah this is what, this is what, what this is some of what I'm saying uh, so exercise for me <laughs> exercise, uh, focus on the core, the chest, abdomen well, I know especially guys, uh, we, like to carry, we like to focus on our arms uh, but if you don't have a uh, Call to hold the hold the big arms then how uh, you know. so like yeah focus on the core especially guys right you how many of you want the six pack you know 
Yeah. So, and then uh, focus on endurance over speed because endurance help to, yeah, again, uh, keep your metabolism up and then uh, help to also, um, uh, yeah, lose weight as well. So, as so much as possible. And yeah, water, drink plenty of it. I guess again, I'm not a health expert, so yeah, this is just me sharing my learning experience. So, thank you very much. That's one of these. Yes, my company is hiring, so people, very web, uh, web developers and mobile developers. Okay, thank you. Thank you.